I wrote a song called John Gotti. I met a girl from Mexico and told her that, you know, being trapped in the confines of a poverty-stricken mindset, you know, people think it's okay to wake up every day, I guess, and no sense of morality and go about your day and sell dope and hurt people. And um, that's the difference between having good character and having bad character. So I grew up and, you know, ancestral relationships were forced on me and there's a lot of people that want to teach patience when it comes to like morality and everything but still nobody has no room to talk when you are being healed people will feel that positive vibe regardless you know but when you are taught that being a sinner is wrong you will always have guilt and you will always you know stress over things that were unnecessary and i got somebody right now you know, that rings in my head. You know, there are really people that really want to set me up for the okie doke. We always want to point the finger, but it's all good. It's a part of life. You know, at least we know how to talk. At least we know how to converse, regardless if it's a problem or not. You know, I I, I wrote a song called John Got It based off looking up what I thought were people that are being viewed as gangsters and this whole thing with growing, you know, Cocoa, cocoa plants and cannabis plants and this whole art of drug dealing and crack cocaine and all this hoopla, you know, we turned into, we created a drug trade, but, you know, it's all about what type of uh, connotation you have on your mind. A lot of people are selling dope and they're glorifying something, but there's also a lesson to be learned in everything, you know, when it turns carnal. That's what Christianity teaches you. So what I'm saying is, I guess somebody, you know, everybody start calling themselves John Gotti. You go to the hood, there's always a TT or a PP or a goddamn Gotti. Everybody call themselves Gotti. You got Yo Gotti, John Gotti, Boo Gotti, all that. So everybody's calling my cousin Boo Gotti. That nigga is not John Gotti. And there's people that want to create tension between me and my family members. You can either heal for some or you don't. You cannot change anything. You can't change the fact that you the fact that you grew up around people and they were hypocritical Christians or they really had lessons thrown at them the hard way, like they say life humbling in you and all that. People be saying, I'm going to tell people up north that your cousin and you used to fucking you're in them bread. And, you know, we need to tell the truth and shame the devil. Let's shame our things that we feel sinful about that makes us feel bad. I'm like, but certain things are not, you know, I don't have to come to my defense. It is what it is. You are born into this function. And that's why people are getting their respect, you know, by changing their lives and you know, we embrace the music, glorify it, but we also either can have a good or bad connotation on our mind about it. So, you know, for all y'all, you know, little people out there that's sitting there trying to create tension and keep tension going between me and my family members, I am a single person, human being. That's all I am. All I can do is sit around and read. I'm going to start back working out. It's the new year, 2023. And, you know, for y'all who's trying to keep up chaos because y'all want everybody to submit and do whatever, you know, No, no, nobody's life is perfect, you know what I'm saying? I really do believe that people can live their life in perfect peace, but, you know, we live in a world where supposedly sin came about and there's, you know, a paradigm that's been taught that something is wrong and something is right, and that's where, you know, things get fishy and things get deep. So, with all that being said, we got hair grease all over my face and stuff, but I'm going to let this hair spread out. And I'm finna grow with myself, my hair, and my higher power. So, you know, when you work, put in work, it shows. Whether it's in the streets, in the church, whatever. We all know that. I know that. When I started exercising more, I got tired. It just worked. It works like that. You know what I'm saying? Never, ever go against the grace of your own emotions. But sometimes you're going to deal with stress. Like I said, I grew up in everybody was dysfunctional so y'all stop trying to keep up tension and keep it going now I understand being an intellect and challenging people to see where they mind is and see you know where their mind is focused at because people will value you for your intellectual capacity uh, I see where your mind is you always talking about this or that blah, blah, blah. that's what it's about but ain't nobody like perfect because at the end of the day most men and women live the same life regardless of the gender identity differences and all that stuff 
you know, I'm sorry to any of my young ladies that may be like me that um really get, you know, view, you know, things like male chauvinism as a reality for something that they're dealing with because everybody, like I said, everybody don't come from um, humble beginnings and things that actually mold and you and make you into the person that you are. You know what I'm saying? Some people, you know what I'm saying, in my life I'm feeling like men are getting more exalted. It's not about men. It's about togetherness and either you smart or you dumb. Boom.